Okay, so we're going to talk about NAND using it as a universal gate and how we can replace AND OR in inverters AND OR in NOT gates with NAND gates, um, how that reduces the number of ICs required and why we would do that. And the real reason we do that is because it saves money. It reduces the number, um, the variety of parts, and it can reduce the number of parts because you might need fewer ICs total. All right, it is possible. Okay, so let's look at why that happens. All right, so here we have a NAND gate, and it's X and Y is the input, so the output is X and Y with one bar at the top. Okay, and here's the truth table for it. There is a one for the output, okay, everywhere except at one, one. So let's imagine what if we dem demorganize that statement. Okay, so let's look. Here we have, there is where we would break the line and change the sign. So we have Z equals not X or what? Not Y. Okay, so is that the same truth table? Look and see. All right, here I have not X, not Y, 1, yes, yes, no. So I still get the same truth table, and that's equivalent. Remember, that is De Morgan's theorem. Okay, so we can use a NAND to replace a NOT, also an inverter is the other term for that. Okay, and here is the NAND gate that would you would draw. So you would take X and put it into both inputs of a two input NAND gate and your output would be Z. So here is the symbol for uh, inverter and the equation and here's the truth table. So let's look at what this would be, this expression would be if we demorganize it and simplify it. Because I want to show you that this in fact is the same as an inverter or a NOT gate. Okay, so I want to demorganize that, so I'm going to break it here, right? And I'm going to go Z equals NOT X or NOT X. Well, remember in Boolean algebra that if you have an OR gate, and you put not x into both sides of that, the output is going to be not x. So we simplify that to say z equals not x. So you see that this is in fact equivalent to that and is the not gate. All right, now let's look at using a NAND gate to replace AND. And you know the truth table. Zero is everywhere except where you have one and one. So this is the combination we would use to make a NAND gate, a uh, combination of NAND gates. So we take X and Y into one input of a NAND gate, then we take that output and run it into both inputs of a second, out, second NAND gate. All right, so let's look at, let me show you how that works out. So you have X and Y there, so you have X and Y with a bar. Now that goes through the NAND gate, so you're going to have X and Y with a bar, X and Y with a bar, and then one bar over the whole thing. Okay, how does that turn into this? So let's write it here, and I will show you how that actually works out so that you'll see that it's the same. Okay, so if I'm going to demorganize that and simplify it, here I would split there and change the sign, correct? Okay, so Z equals X and Y, two bars, change, or X and Y, two bars. Okay, so these bars are the same length, and that's a not not. So that's going to be equal to X and Y. So now I have Z equals X and Y, or X and Y. Again, we know that if we put that into both sides of an OR gate, it's equivalent to just X and Y. It's the Boolean rule for that. So we do in fact get that that is equivalent to X and Y. So there's the simplification to make an AND gate. So now if we want to use NAND gates to replace OR, here's what we do. We take X, we feed both inputs into one NAND gate. We take Y, feed both inputs into one NAND gate. We take this and feed the output of each one into a NAND gate. 
and the output is equivalent to an OR gate. Let me show you why. So we have X and X NAND, Y and Y NAND, and now we have X and X and Y and Y bars bar. So if I go through the process of simplifying that, what does that end up looking like? If I need to split here, okay, that's where I would demorganize, right? I can't break through multiple bars at one time. Change this on. Okay, now, not not x is equal to x, so this becomes x and x or y and y. But we know that x and x is just the same as x, so this becomes z is equal to x or y. And so you see how that then is the OR gate. Okay, so here I just have a quick little sheet to show you the three combinations of gates that we would use. So I'd like to do an example where we take this AOI circuit and now I'd like to change it to a NAND only circuit. So we're literally just going to substitute. So I've labeled A, B, and C here. And I'm going to look and I'm going to make not C first is how I've chosen to do it. So I'm going to come here and make this to be not C. I'm just writing myself a little notes here so I can keep up with it. Now when I look at this, um, not C was combined with B into an AND gate. So I have B and not C here. All right, so this is for an AND gate. Slide that right there where you can still kind of see it. Okay, so I'm going to have a NAND gate with two inputs. The inputs are the inputs from, sorry, my AND gate. So that would be my NOT C and my B. I need to take that piece and put it through this, the output, and put both of them into the next NAND gate. So now this combination has made my B and NOT C. And that's right here. This one makes my not C. Okay, and now I need to make A and C. So again, I'm using my AND gate here. So I'm going to have an AND gate. And C is the other input to that. And then I take that and put them both in that output into an AND gate. So this makes A and B. Okay, so let's look just to be sure. Um, this is A, I'm sorry, A and C, excuse me. C, A and C. This is not C, this is B and not C. This is A and C or B and not C. Okay, so now this piece has made my Sorry, that's so hard to read, A and C. Okay, now I need to make the OR gate. So what does the OR gate look like? It's this piece. So I'm going to take this piece and draw it, and I'm going to put A, C into one side, and B, not C. Okay, so... So there we go, okay, and this is our output Z, and this portion made our OR gate. So we changed to A and C, or B and not C. Now what I have to do is I have to go back and look for um, places where I have the equivalent of two NOT gates back to back. Because even though these were grouped to make individual pieces, if I have two NOT gates back to back, it's still going to be a double inversion. So just like 
you would eliminate this if you saw it. You wouldn't do that, right? You're going to eliminate the NAND only version of that, which would be this. Okay, so you can see that you would eliminate this because this would be A, this would be not A, this would be not not A. So we would eliminate these. So let's label these gates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm looking for these back to back. Okay, and I'm going to just cut them out. So we're looking for this back to back. And so I'd like you now to take a minute and to look through and you're looking for them back to back, not side to side. Wherever they occur, occur regardless of whether they were part of some other piece or not. So as you look at that, do you see that there is one here and one here? So we can eliminate those and one here and one here. So I can eliminate those and reconnect and redraw our circuit. So let's look at what this circuit becomes now. So here's our example again. Okay, and we made A C or B not C. And I'm going to draw the ones without the gates I eliminated. All right, so it now looks like this. So now, this thing has become, so just to show you what happened here, you can see that A, I got rid of this piece and this piece. So it comes from there straight into what used to be number four. So A and C go to there. So this is still here. This piece is still here, but these two are gone, and we replace them like that. Okay, so this is, in fact, an equivalent circuit, and it only has four NAND gates, and that would be only one IC. Okay, the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to just show you why this is, in fact, the same by showing you the math that goes with it. So this is A and C with a bar over it. This is C and C with a bar over it. It comes up to here, and it is B and C and C like that. Then when we come through here, we have A and C bar with this and that is the final expression so if I go through the process of demorganizing that what expression do I get is it equivalent to what I started with A and C or B and not C so let's look at it I'm sorry in here I really didn't draw my bar quite long enough Okay, so where am I going to demorganize this first? I didn't actually finish is the problem there. Here we go, like that. Okay, so that's our actual expression. And now we'd like to demorganize. So I have to break there. Okay, so I'm going to break the line and change the sign. 
A and C, not, not, or B, like this. Okay. Well, not, not, A, C is just A and C. So this is promising. I'm already at least have one of my terms worked out. Okay. So now I need to demorganize this piece. And I'd like to break it here because I need to break that larger bar. Now remember that B is ended with this complete thing, so that when I break here, I have to put this C and C with the not over the entire thing in parentheses. So I have C, A, C, or not B, okay? And then I have to break the line And now, what happens? So when I break this, oh, I dropped a bar. That's what happened. There was a double bar here. I could tell something was wrong, but I didn't see. So when I broke the line here, I didn't bring it down. That has two lines there that's the same length. So these two lines cancel out. So it's going to be B and C, C. Okay, so B is ended to both of those. When I demorganize those, I have to multiply it out. So I do A, C, or B, parentheses. Now I'm going to demorganize there. C, not C, or not C. Okay, so think about not C or not C. What is that? We always say that C or C is C, right? So that's going to be not C. So I actually end up getting the exact same expression B or not C. Okay, so it works out to be equivalent. So let's look, compare our two circuits. Our AOI circuit that we started with, okay, we had these three part numbers, 7404, 7408, 7432. We used one of these two of these, one of these, and each one of them, that meant we had one IC. With the 7400 in the end, with the simplified, we have one, two, three, four NAND gates. Okay, and what does that look like then? There are four NAND gates on our regular dual input, and that's just one IC. So we have three versus one. So that's a pretty substantial savings in numbers of parts, too, not just um, the actual variety of inventory. So I hope that helps.